Hi Kirby fans, so today what we're going to be doing is changing the brushes in a Legend 2. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. For those who are new to the channel, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the other videos. If you find you're getting value on this channel, then make sure you slap the subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comments, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping back into the Legend 2 and we're going to be changing those bushes. This Legend 2 is from 1991, it's the one I picked up a couple of months back. I'll put an eye card up if you want to see when I actually picked it up and the condition it was in. I've been waiting for some parts to come from the States, they've actually came. So we're going to do a video on obviously changing the bushes and then in the next video I'll do one on how to change the fan. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. This is the Legend 2 we're going to be working on. Um, it's the one I picked up a couple of months back and if you want to watch one of the previous videos I said as I said before I will put an eye card up for you to see the condition this came in um, So what I'm doing is totally refurbing it. I'm going to take we'll take it apart today and We'll start fitting the new brushes that turned up So what we'll do is I'll zoom in so you can quickly see me taking it apart and uh, yeah enjoy right, So what we'll do first we'll just remove the head one side. Right, so we're just going to start taking this apart. So, first up, we're going to have to remove the lead. That's it, so let's pull that out. It's been a while. That should come out, so that don't affect that. that pulls off, and then take your lead out. Just a kettle lead. Plus. Okay, next up we're going to take this screw out here, which just holds that kettle lead connection. If you're not sure where your screws go, just put them all to one side. And underneath we've got two screws. So I'll just turn it around. Send it over. So we've got two screws, so there's one here. They're all Phillips as well, and there's one there. And we've got two on the sides, there's one here, and one on this side here. And that should lift off in theory. I'm doing something wrong. Nope, there we go. That's coming off just like so. That used to work on the generation series. Okay, so next up we're going to release our safety switch. Try and do is keep the screws together. Remember when this comes out, there we go. And I'll just keep those screws with that safety switch. So just keep those together so you don't get them mixed up. Right, so we're just going to check out check our bushes now. Now our bushes aren't located in the side like they are on the G G3s or the Avaliers, the located top and bottom. And they don't, it's not like a spade connector that pushes on the end of the bush, they're totally different. So with these you've just got a spring and you've got a contact that slides in on top. Okay, so to get these off, all we're going to do is just lift that up a bit, wiggle it, and it tends to come off there, like so. And that comes off there. Okay, now just be careful not to damage any of this. Now to get this out, we're just going to push that down there, and it is spring loaded. Push it down, and that will slide out. Now, don't slide it all the way out because you're going to have your spring go padung. All right, and I'll do that again for you. Padung, and you don't want it doing that. So, put your finger over the end. So, as you pull it out, you'll feel the bush push on your finger, and you're just going to release that, and it's just a spring. Now, we'll look at these, and the bushes are 
there's barely any minimum anywhere on them okay so as you can see they're practically the same length there's minimum probably an eighth gone off if that so what we'll do we'll put that back in and we'll check the other side so to put the back in just in case push your bush in push your spring in make sure it doesn't snatch and then what I do is just get a little flat screwdriver just hold that in there so it doesn't fire out you're going to push this connector back in from this side move your screwdriver when you've got it and then put your screwdriver back on top to push down so you can wiggle that through until it pops out the other side which is there and it locates in so I'll just zoom in so you can actually see that is your spring clip there and I'll quickly show you again how it comes out so we've lifted that off we just push down on there that slides back put your finger over it so it doesn't fire out and then that pops out and then you'll feel your spring push out and to put it back in reverse process we just push our bush in Okay, push our spring down, again, get your screwdriver just to literally hold that down. Okay, don't look directly over it because you don't want it firing up and hitting you in the eye. So you can wear safety glasses if you want when you're doing this, okay. Push that connector back in, when it comes up you'll feel that pressure pushing up. So you're going to push down and you'll feel that locate on the other side if it's coming through there. Push and that clips in place okay and that's exactly the same on both of them and then to put that cover back on you just lift it over and then pull back so we'll flip it over and do the other side just check the bush on that side so we lift that back try not to damage that connector and then we're just going to push that down if you can see hold that back out of the way so you just push that down that then is free to slide out you'll hit click all right, so once you've got it and it's moving out, make sure you haven't pulled that all the way out. Put your finger over the end, slide that out, and your bush will come out with ease. Okay, so this one again, I'll get a brand new brush. Okay, so as you can see, they're exactly the same size. There's like an eighth in it that's worn, if that. So there's plenty of life left in that bush. So what we'll do is we'll pop that back in. So it's a reverse process again. We'll push our bush back in. Push that spring down, okay? Don't look out directly over it. Get your screwdriver, just slide that under your thumb so you've got it covered. Push that down so you can get this pin in, this spade connector in. Push that spade connector through, then lift that out. When it's so far through, push down so it locates. Okay, and that should pop through the other side again. So, just push it down. And there you go. So that's in now. So that's not coming out. And to put this back on, we just lift it over there, hook it underneath. It hooks under that brass fitting and hooks both over. So that's covered and protected. And that's your brushes. So the brushes are fine. And it's just the reverse process to put it back together. So make sure that's covered up. And then to put it back together, it's exactly the reverse process of the way we took it apart. So first up, we're gonna push this back in here. So that locates in the middle of there. Then we're gonna get our back. That slots over there, back in situ. We've got our bolts. There's the bolts. So you've got your self tapper on here, which if we lower this down, locates in there but we're going to want to get the bottom ones in first so I'll flip it over so you can see the bottom ones going in just turn it round and then we've got our bolts that go underneath it's got a long bolt here goes in the back okay and then we've got one of our shorter bolts 
which these are all the same size so it's any one of those Easy. that goes in there so again you can do it by hand or with a impact roll this goes slowly so you know you're not rounding it off let me flip it over and we're just going to put the screen there one screw in here it's that put our safety switch back on which I didn't really need to take out so you push that in and then you fold it round so push that in there fold it round like so push that in and then you've got these two screws one locates there, don't over tighten them because it's going to be brittle plastic as it is really old okay, and that one Let's move that and it locates and that one's in there like so so those brushes will just keep as spares I bought two sets anyway Okay, and it's just a reverse process to bring everything back. So we've got our lead with our plastic clip. So we get our kettle lead. Our kettle lead goes in there. And then what I do is I just pull that back just so I can locate where this self tapper goes because that's what holds that in situ. Slowly tighten that. It's got it, don't over tighten it cable cover goes over there this you've just got four little prongs so put your bottom one in first and then your top one in like so we get our bar we put in there oops yep sorry then we get our bar which we'll put in here it'll locate we get a locking pin and we just hook that back over there and that is back ready for everything else to your bag and your head to connect to and your handle which is self-explanatory so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was really informative I couldn't find anything on YouTube that showed me how to change these so I actually bought an actual manual to figure out how these actually came apart but they're pretty quite they're quite simple to actually do about 10 people away from the 500 subscription mark so I will be running putting a video up once we hit that 500 plus subscribers and I'll be asking a question so make sure that you're one of the first five to comment down below in that video on what the answer is to that question um, to get in the draw ready for that draw to win that G6 at a thousand subscribers so I haven't had a chance to check my new subscribers at the moment but I will and I'll give them a shout out in the next video so if you're finding the content of value and you haven't already then make sure you slap the subscribe button to show your support ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes give us a big thumbs up and comment down below i will reply to the comments and if i like what you comment i'll pin it to the video so what we'll do is just cut to the bloopers so what i'll do is i'll see you in the next one bye Well, it's the century or two we're going to be working on. No, it's not. <laughs> Take two. Um, I, um, this, uh, this, uh, so we're about 10 people away from that 500. So we'll spot the color. So if you're finding this. Right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was really informative. And again, 